Cheer. Hammer deep to left field. Jordan Walker ends this ball game. Long gone to left. A two run home run. And welcome back. With the arrival of players like Brendan Donovan and Nolan Gorman this season, we've seen just how strong the Cardinals' prospect pipeline is. And down in double A, there's another top prospect duo that has big plans of their own for this franchise. Our Corey Miller went to Springfield for this week's spotlight story on the phenomenal friendship of Jordan Walker and Mason Wynn. The 1-0 for Walker, hit hard to deep right center field, going back on it, Marlowe at the wall, that's gone! If you know any current Cardinals minor league prospect, it's probably this guy, and for good reason. Jordan Walker is tearing up double A pitching, hitting 311 with a 911 OPS in 54 games. MLB.com has him ranked as the 25th best prospect in baseball. Just don't tell him that. I try not to look at that stuff too much, to be honest. Um, you know, just we we're kind of getting in my head a little bit too much, so I try to not look at that stuff. Um, some, I do see some things. The 20 year old spent some time with the big league club this spring and said it helped him start to think like a big leaguer. They would be joking around with the guys, but when they're in that cage, they're locked in. And when they're on the field, they're locked in. They all knew what they needed to do to get ready. They all knew how it's supposed to go, like how they're supposed to go out their work. And I feel like seeing that really gave me a clear idea of, oh, this is what it takes to be a big leaguer. This 6'5", 220-pound third baseman takes up a lot of real estate on the left side of the Hammonds Field infield. But now he's sharing that left side with one of his best friends. One, two, a jam shot floater in a shallow left. Wynn going out. He makes the grab. Willie Mason Mays Wynn is currently rated as the number five prospect in the Cardinals system the for plays like that and what he can do with the bat. Wynn is hitting 315 between Peoria and Springfield this season with 16 stolen bases. And he's been working on his defense with the best in the business, Jose Okendo. At first, it was really tough love. It was, you know, he was like the first real coach that was hard on me in pro ball, and uh, it, was, it was tough to get used to. And then, you know, now it's just really a, a good bond. He, you know, he comes out here and we get work in. He tells me what I need to know and what I don't. Wynn was originally drafted as a two-way player, but the organization has decided to utilize his rocket arm at shortstop instead of on the mound. I think if we see me on the mound again, I think it's it's probably because I didn't hit the best. So I'm hoping we don't we don't go back there, but. You know, uh, maybe in the future, like a little Yachty, Albert Pujols type thing, you know, getting on there later. But Walker and Wynn were both part of the 2020 draft class and have known each other longer than that. But let's just say it wasn't quite the fairy tale friendship at first. I met him first time at a uh, prospect event in high school. I was like, man, this dude's a weirdo, um, to be honest. I was like, but then as soon as, you know, we got to the all site, we clicked together. I was like, he's not so bad. But my first impression of him was that, yeah, he was a clown. And he still is a clown, but he's a good dude. And, and I'm excited to play next to him. But now the top prospect pair are inseparable. They're roommates in Springfield and have some glowing scouting reports of each other. If you're if you're going to pitch to him, I think you got to be perfect. And even if you are perfect, I think you got to hope for a little bit of luck. Uh, honestly, just because I think he'll hit anything, really. I mean, you think he can sneak a high fastball by him, and he'll just do what he did last night and walk it off. So, I mean, I don't. I personally wouldn't know what to throw to him, and I'm very confident on the mound. I wouldn't know what to throw to him. His arm definitely does stick out, but if you see BP, he has some power with him too. Um, people just don't, you don't really like, think where he he would have any, but once he gets into a ball, it, it will go really far. So I think that's a little sneaky, you know, dark horse uh, tool of his. But he's like an all-around guy. He can hit field, obviously great arm, really fast, but I think a little sneaky tool that he does have is power and that people don't know about too, too well. If Wynn did end up pitching to him though, Walker has an idea of how that would go. Oh, that's a home run. <laughs> Absolutely. We talk about this all the time. I would definitely take him deep and I've been wanting to face him ever since, but I mean, in all honesty, it would definitely be a tough at bat. You know, we joke around all the time, but it would definitely be a tough at bat. Uh, but I feel like I can, get, I can get the best of him for sure. And although it may be a little while until they bring their talents here to Bush Stadium, Walker and Wynn are not shy about their goals, and they know that continuing to climb the system together will only make their journey more special. I think it would be something really fun to watch, you know? You know, it's like Yachty and, and Pujols coming up and, and playing so long together and Wayno, You know, I think me and Jordan coming up through the ranks together, he's a little bit ahead of me, but, you know, I think in the long run, we'll have a lot of games together under our belt. And I think that'll it'll be a, a lot of fun to watch for the fans. It'll be a lot of fun to play, too. 
truly special, man. He's a great dude and he's a really good friend. So traveling up the system with him, that would be a dream of mine come true. And then hitting the league with him, that would just be something different, something super special. From Springfield for Sports Plus, I'm Corey Miller.